America's got talent. Britain's got talent. Their magic tricks revealed. Uh huh. This came across the great one's page, and I said, "Oh, I got to do reaction to this because some of these magic tricks are just out there." So, no, now the curtain has been pulled back, and we're about to check out these tricks revealed. Come on back. You know we got to do the damn thing. Hi, Lee. Hi, J Rock. J -Rock. Hey, come back. What is happening and in and in with the millions <laughs> and millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. J-Rock is here and we're about to check out uh, uh, America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, Famous Magic Tricks Exposed, finally revealed, all right? If you got a reaction request, some of you want J-Rock to check out, put a link to it in the comment section below and if I choose your request. Give you a shout out right here on the Great Ones channel, all right? Also, if you are not subscribed to the Great Ones channel, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, so you can be a part of the Great Ones family on the way to 1 million subscribers, all right? You ain't got nothing to lose. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Now let's check this thing. Magic is all about a magician's ability to make everyone shy away from reality. And that's what makes magic tricks a great spectacle to watch. After all this, curiosity is the first emotion which our human mind discovers. So, be it Andrew Lee's amazing knife throwing trick, or the famous Matt Franco's bartender trick. Hello and welcome back, and today we are going to figure out the secrets behind some of Got Talent's most famous magic tricks. So, let's get started. The first trick, the blindfolded knife and card trick. Andrew Lee, the magician from Malaysia, performed a trick on Britain's Got Talent where he left the audience and judges thrilled and shocked with his amazing knife throwing card trick. Here's what he did. Andrew first calls upon the presenter duo and to deck onto the stage where he asks deck, one of the co-hosts, to pick a random card from the deck. He tears the corner part of the selected card keeps the torn card back into the deck and hands over that deck to Ant and tells him to throw all the cards in the air on his signal. He then puts a black board around Deck's neck and tells everyone that he plans to get Deck's random card by throwing a knife through it, blindfolded with the blade heading straight towards Deck. On doing so, this death-defying act left both the judges and audience terrified with this seemingly impossible trick. Wow, so, that is impressive. how do you do it? Well, here's the secret. First of all, you should never try such things at home or anywhere else. Now, coming to the secret, the card that Deck chose was forced onto him. Also, Andrew never threw the knife. The knife you saw at the target was already pre-installed inside that board with an identical two of hearts. So, let's first see how the two of hearts card was forced. Andrew here used a common technique of forcing a card. After he pulled out the cards from the pack, as you can see here, the bottom card in that deck was the Two of Hearts, and this card was the one he forced onto deck. So he intentionally positions that card at the bottom of the deck. Now using the technique, he first cuts the deck, and in doing so, he applies a pinky break between the Two of Hearts and the rest of the deck. For those of you who don't know, a pinky break is a technique used by card magicians to secretly mark a spot in the deck or slightly lift it up. Initially, he drops the cards slowly, but during the moment when Deck says stop, he instantly drops all the cards under the break and leaves the force card, that is, the two of hearts, onto the lower deck, and this is how he forced the card. Thereafter, Andrew rips off the corner part of that card, places the torn card back into the deck, and hands over the cards to Ant so he can throw it in the air. Now you think, what about that two of hearts which appeared at the target, as the torn corner piece matched perfectly with that card? Well, for that part, Andrew uses another two of hearts which was pre-installed in the board before the act had started. Also, both of the identical cards, the one which he forced and the other card at the target, were pre-sectioned. And this is how he pre-cut the cards. He stacked both the cards together and cut them simultaneously. Now, the card stacked at the top is cut all the way through, 
and this card is the one he pre-installs it with a knife inside the board. The card at the bottom is only cut halfway, and during the performance, if you observe carefully, when Tex says stop, he doesn't show the card from the middle where he cut it. He only shows the card from the base of the deck, which confirms it was a pre-cut card. Even in this frame, you can see that the Force card has a crease mark, thus confirming the pre-cut. Now the only thing he needed to do was to follow the cut and tear the corner part on a predefined line, so that the corner piece also fits the Two of Hearts inside the target board. Also, that was the reason why it was Andrew who ripped off the corner, and not the host. But still, what about the missing corner of the card thrown in the air? Wouldn't someone notice it when thrown on the floor? Well, the torn card was glued onto the adjacent card below it, using a double-sided tape. That's why no one could easily identify it while the cards were thrown into the air. And now, coming to the pre-built mechanism, as you know, the knife was never thrown, and Andrew only pretended to throw a knife. So, where did the knife in his hand disappear? Slave. If you see this frame carefully, the knife he's holding up is attached through the little hole in the handle to a thin black elastic cord that runs up his sleeve. When Ant threw the cards in the air, Andrew pretended to throw the knife, but in reality, as his hand snapped forward, he let go of the knife, which was then retracted by the elastic cord back inside his sleeve. But since the hand is always quicker than the eye, you couldn't see the knife. Now, when the knife retracted back into his sleeve, it triggered the remote control signal to a hidden mechanism inside the target port on Dex's chest. So, at that moment, as the camera cuts away, the target board popped up a hidden spring mechanism from underneath. This picture shows how the pre-cut card and the knife were placed on a spring-loaded base inside the secret compartment. Now, when Andrew pretends to throw the knife, the base is raised to its vertical position, which creates the illusion of a knife hitting the target. Also, the mechanism was covered under the furry cover arranged in the shape of a door, which made way for the platform to pop up. To confirm the same, if we look at his performance on Asia's Got Talent, on slowing it down, you can see the card, along with the knife, pops out of the board from the top. With the oh, screen. yeah, I was wondering, like... So, it's quite a complex trick, but all the credit goes to Andrew for such a great presentation. The second trick, the bartender milk carton trick. Matt Franco, the winner of America's Got Talent in Season 9, returned back for Season 12 to stun the judges all over again. But this time around, he did something refreshing. He brought along a carton of milk and starts pouring some refreshing drink from the carton. He picked up a glass and filled it with milk. Obviously, no one was surprised. However, when he picked up the next few glasses, things got a bit more confusing. Matt then managed to make orange juice appear out of nowhere, and continued to produce a total of six glasses of completely different liquids, which included water as well. The final drink he poured was lemonade. Thereafter, he invites the judges to each pick a glass and give it a taste. All seemed quite happy with the taste, especially Simon with his chilled beer. Finally, he rips off the carton pack to convince everyone that he did no tricks and everything was quite fair. So, how did he do it? Was that carton a gimmick? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, let's quickly get to the secret. Some of you'd think that the secret lies in that carton, and it consists of multiple compartments built in, which hides all the different liquids. But that's not the case here. Also, Matt showed at the end that there was no gimmick inside that carton. So where do the liquids come from? Well, the secret lies in those glasses, and not in that carton. Mm. Also, the carton was filled with water, and he only poured water in all those glasses. When he picked up each of the six glasses, they appeared to be empty. However, five of them each had different colored powder placed at their bottom. The only glass which was really empty was the one which he filled with water. Also, this was the only glass he showed to the audience without hiding anything to win their trust. Now, the other glasses had their bottom recessed a bit deeper, which helped in hiding the dry powders. Mm. Also, the viewers couldn't see the powder because Matt held up the glasses by their bottom and concealed it from the audience while filling it up. So, it becomes quite obvious. 
As he poured in the water, it was mixed with the colored powder to create the illusion of milk turning into different colored liquids. Only the last glass, which contained lemonade powder, was actually drinkable. Also, while pouring water in that last glass, here you can see the water coming out of the carton. Mm -hmm. Now, except for lemonade, all the other liquids were not drinkable. So, did the judges really taste them? Well, the tray in which Matt placed the drinks was switched with the tray which contained the real drinks. Also, if you observe, after this camera cut, Matt's assistant suddenly came into the picture. So he was the one who secretly switched the tray, while Matt was busy talking with Tyra. And this distracted everyone towards them. Unfortunately, the camera did not record this moment. Now, if you see this frame, before the switch, the beer had no foam on top of it while Matt was holding it up. However, after the switch, it was a perfect beer with a nice beer head. Okay. Also, these okay. two frames will confirm that the tray was in yeah. yeah. In the first picture, yeah. you can see the level of milk was lower than the water glass. However, when the tray reached the judges' table, the milk and water level looked similar. And this is how the judges succumbed to this amazing illusion. So finally, moving on to the last trick on our list, the Death Trap Escape Act. Hurrah! Hiroki Hara, the Japanese magician, once performed a thrilling escape act on America's Got Talent which scared everyone around. Here's what he did. After coming on stage, he first did a quick dress change to amaze the viewers. Thereafter, he goes inside a death trap box with knives placed all over it. The assistants lock him inside that box, the rope which held the box in place was then set on fire. The knives then pierce through the box, thus keeping everyone in suspense. But what do we see? Hara is all safe as he suddenly appears in front of the judge's table. So, how did Hara survive the death trap? Well, here's trap the door. First of all, the knives that pierced the box were custom made and weren't real. So it didn't pose any danger to the magician. Of course, never does. The trick involved two parts. First, the dress change, and second, the escape trick. For the dress change, Hara actually wore two costumes. The outer costume, which was the red dress, didn't have any buttons, and was only placed as a single piece over his shoulder, which held it in place. So, all Hara did was to remove that costume by pulling it aside after he raises up the curtain. And this reveals the black dress underneath. Now, coming to the escape part, the death trap box had two secret compartments built inside. Also, there was another assistant hiding inside the back compartment. And there was enough space at the base of the box where he can position his legs. So now you must have guessed it. When Hara bowed down after getting into the box, at the same time, his assistant put his right hand out. And when Hara was completely inside the box, the assistant put out his left hand. Also, there is a secret door beneath the box which makes way towards the staircase placed below the box. Mm -hmm. Yes, that staircase is hollow and Hara got down there. So it was his assistant whose hands were locked. Now Hara is inside that staircase which the stage assistants then moved aside before setting the box on fire. Also, since it was all dark on stage, the steps were put aside at a place where Hara easily got out and crawled towards the judge's desk. Now, when the other person's hands were freed and he was all safe inside the back compartment, he pulled up a latch inside the box to make the burnt rope fall and the knives to pierce through the box. On close inspection, no one was found inside. But you know it, the other person never left the box and went safely to the back as he covers himself with a blackboard inside. Finally, Hara reveals himself to stun everyone around with this awesome illusion. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind Got Talent's most famous magic tricks. Okay. Which trick did you like the most? The knife throwing trick? The milk carton trick? Or the death trap escape act? And name any other magic trick you would like us to reveal. Let us know in the comments below. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Well, J-Rock says this. You gotta give it up for the magicians with the presentation and the sleight of hand that they, you know, come up with in order to keep everybody's attention away from what's really going on, right? Uh, the camera, you know, is shooting certain areas of the, uh, of the, uh, 
I uh, forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, uh, but you got to give credit to the uh, the magicians on this and the way they present it. Um, it's damn good tricks. But shout out to them for letting us know how it all works. Okay. Uh, post your comments down below. Let your rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoy the great ones reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. It is me! What J-Rock is!